I think I have a shoe issue. The deal is, I have to get all these shoes into my new closet drawers. I think I have room for around maybe 120-ish. And I think here we have 150 pairs of shoes. Yes, it's a lot and it's accumulated over seven or more years of collecting a lot of shoes, doing what I do. And it's, yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> but I have removed about 50 more pairs of shoes <laughs> from this which I'm probably gonna sell on a Depop or give some away to charity. Um, so they are not here. So I'm down now to about 150 pairs of shoes that I can't currently bear to part with. And we're gonna put them away together. So let's start right here. First closet, and I figured that these closets should really be for like stilettos, anything that will fit in this amount of space because I've got a lot of ankle boots that won't quite fit in here and I've got a really big selection I don't know whether to do them in colours in fabrics <laughs> um, in brands I think what I might do is kind of stick to themes of shoes so maybe stilettos in black stilettos in yellow red glittery yeah <laughs> let's just see what happens right so seeing as all the glittery ones seem to be on my left I'm going to start with those I'm gonna so quickly whiz through every single pair of shoes or we're going to be here all day. First up, a pair of Gina shoes that they made for me years ago. They were like a pair of Cinderella shoes pretty much and I wore these for my mum's wedding so they're quite sentimental to me. But honestly, I don't wear them all that much because I mean, they're a glittery pair of shoes. So let me, let me move up, right. I'm gonna start here. Okay, next up. Another pair of Gina's, this time more sling back, super glittery toes. They're, they're such a beautiful brand, Gina, and I don't really see much of them, kind of in the online sphere. A beautiful Aquazura sandals with a kind of crystal effect to the toes. These were my Friday night wedding shoes for my wedding. Actually, really quite comfortable. I'm a massive, massive Aquazura fan. So, if you're looking for some wedding shoes, I honestly would recommend Aquazura because they do the most beautiful selection, such as these bad boys, also Aquazura, exact same style as the other ones, but this time with a silver starry toe. Just want to fit in quite a few things in here so far. Can you even see it? Yeah, you can just about start to see it coming along this row. I do have one. Uh, there we go. There you are. These were my, what day? My Saturday evening shoes for my wedding. Aren't they just, oh, divine. Pair of Louboutins. This is going well so far. Oh, you're glitzy. Another pair of Aquazuras. These are fabulous suede to like the heel section and then this beautiful glitzy band over each toe and then this wire wraps all the way up the ankle as like a big ankle strap okay how many have i got one two three four five six pairs of shoes so far i was really i'm really hoping i can get eight along here or we're going to struggle here guys okay glitzy glitzy now these are definitely a more glitzy pair, that is for sure. A pair of the Ted Baker peaches with the cute little toe jeweled section. They don't fit as easy, but let's see. I can get them to work for us. They're almost a bit, they're a bit longer for some reason. I might go for my Manolos for the last pair. Beautiful pair of Hangisis, are they Hangisis? in this like pink lustrous silver fabric beautifulness are you going to fit please fit no 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 okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to put what i might do is put this pair back here because i can just about fit two more pairs in this section so i'm going to fit my elbows here oh yeah they fit better they fit much better there Okay, that's great. Put them there. Okay, next up. I 
think I'm going to go for, I'm gonna kind of stick with the sparkly vibe I've got going on. I'm gonna go for these next, my Nicholas Kirkwood in this gold fabric. They always have the pearl underneath the heel in the Nicholas Kirkwood, but genuinely these have been one of the best pairs of shoes I ever added to my collection. You'll also notice in this video that I have stuffing in sometimes one pair of shoes or one of two or both or none and that's because I'm a bit rubbish at keeping up with it. So <laughs> fantastic pair of shoes, wear them all the time. Now these are super pointy so they also don't quite fit side by side inside of here, that's annoying. We're gonna lose some space here now. Somewhat glitzy, my Valentino rock studs. I've said it so many times, but they're genuinely one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes. And I think if you love your heels, then adding a pair of the Valentino rock studs is, is a definite, definite wardrobe requirement, personally. They just go with everything and they're really comfortable. So I've worn the hell out of those. Okay, I can't find any more glitzy glitzy. So instead, I'm going to go for red shoes. <laughs> Don't know why I think that that's going to add nicely into this little area. So, got a couple of reds. First pair are a pair of Reese shoes. Oh, still left all the plastic on them, so now all the bottoms are like ripping off with the plastic. But at least they're, you know, somewhat protected under here. I got this pair because they were like a dupe of the Victoria Beckham style that came out. And they look you. Do you know with these actually I can kind of overhang them off the edge of the shelf a bit. Then we've got a pair from Next that I got a couple of years ago when I was working with them on a project and I took these to the Maldives and I've not been able to get rid of these because I find them so flattering on. They've got this kind of like, this just winds up your leg. So they're actually a really gorgeous pair and I love the cherry red of them so that's why I've kept them. Let me just try and see if this works doing from the back here. Yeah, maybe I could, maybe I can overhang these a little bit. A pair of Jean Vito Rossi's, beautiful cherry red in a suede. I have these in black and such a fantastic pair of shoes for everything, so I got them in the red. My Lubies, 120 millimeter heel, so the 12 centimeter heel. They are very uncomfortable, I'm not even gonna lie to you, they're very, very uncomfortable, but they look absolutely killer. Oh, they're big. Okay, and, oh, no, I missed these. Okay, these are another pair of Ted Baker peaches and I wore these for my legal wedding when I went to Wigan and got married legally with Alex. So these are what I wore and they are beautiful. It's this season's peach style with this gorgeous silver toe. So that can go in here next to my monolos. And what I'll do is I'll put the extra one back here to make room. Or maybe I'll just put them all back there so that my peaches are at the very back there, see? Yeah, do that. And that means I've got one more space. Mm. Now I was gonna do pinks, but I don't wanna do pinks. What I really wanna add in here, seeing as there's a lot of wedding shoes in here, are my Sophia Webster's. Let me hide my face so it doesn't try and get me. My Sophia Webster's, look how beautiful they are with the butterfly on the back. So I wore these on a Sunday morning for brunch. Will they fit? Surely they fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're going to go in is the question. I think it's the butterflies. Okay, I need a plan B for the butterflies, they don't fit. They don't fit. Everything else does so I think. Yes! Yes, 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 okay, that works. Right, next draw up going quite well actually. I'm gonna go with yellows. Yellow stiletto time. My brand new Jimmy Chews. Oh yeah, they are just awesome. Look at those, they're so pointy. They're like Cruella de Vil style pointy, pointy. So they're gonna go in here. These are a real mess, but again, these are a pair from Reese and I wore these so, so much. I just love how very light and subtle um, like like sunshine yellow they are. It's my favourite kind of yellow. This very like mustardy, mustardy style yellow. So those guys can go in there. Now these ones, I must admit, I don't know what happened here, but these are a pair of Jean Vito Rossi's. Look at the colour of the toes. They got really, really discoloured and I think I kind of ruined them. So what I want to do is get these re-dyed in a different colour, maybe like a dark pink 
or a red. If any of you guys know how to do this so it's not going to ruin or if you know of anywhere professional that dyes suede to a different colour, let me know because it would be such a shame. I don't want to have to throw these away because they're so expensive and I loved them in yellow. I'd rather get them repainted in yellow really but I don't know how it works so any, any advice would be amazing on those because I loved them and I don't know how they got so ruined. I'm not sure if they got wet or something happened, but oh, nightmare. Next up on here, I want to go with patterns. So these are a pair of Dolce & Gabbana's I got a few years ago and they're in like a patent leather. They've been such a fantastic pair of shoes. Like these with a pair of jeans look so killer. So I'm going to stick them in. They can kind of go next to my yellow. So it's like yellows and patterns. And similarly, I've got another pair of Dolce, this time in more of a fabric style. I got these from Bister, I think, with loads of discount, and I was super happy. And I've got this amazing jewel toe. Very, very cool pair of shoes. So they can go next to them. Oh, I'm losing my leg. I'm losing my leg. And then I'm going to go, then I'm going to start up on pinks. So a pair of suede Steve Madden, super tall, super gorgeous. You can go there okay and then a couple of other pinks i've got my alexandra alexandra berman absolutely in love with these and i got them i mean i still am beautiful it's got this really cool like plastic section that is like slings back around your ankle and this bit goes up and around they are stunning so they can be oh i love it when they actually fit when it actually fits like my side it's great and these won't know, these, these are big. Um, Jean Vito Rossi's, what's the name of these? The other ones are the Calabrias. These ones, I can't remember now. I've got another pair of these actually in a different colour. They are really, really sexy on with anything that's shorter, like a short skirt, short mini skirt, short shorts. And these are in like the pink, the baby pink leather. Really, really recommend them actually if you're looking for a pair of shoes that you can wear with a lot of different things and like I said they come in loads of different colours. Next to those I'm going to go with my Jean Vito Rossi Calabrias again this time in the baby pink again it's pretty much the exact same baby pink as the last ones and these are probably one of my most favourite styles of shoe. You'll come to learn this throughout this video I have a lot of shoes in this shape. Jean Vito Rossi is one of my favourite brands ever ever. And I think what I might do is now start moving into nudes because it's kind of like pink into nudes. Um, one of the first pairs of designer shoes, in fact probably I think the most designer shoes I ever bought first, my pair of nude Louboutins and these are the Pigal, the Pigal pumps and I'll probably keep them forever because they're kind of sentimental to me. Bought those when I was in uni. Another pair of Calabria Courts, the very first pair I bought. They are batten bruised and if I ever find them again in this white toe nude back colourway, I'm buying them again, that's for sure. But at the moment I haven't been able to find them. But they are just sexy as shoe. Obsessed. And another pair of Calabrias, this time in this like gold. It's almost a bit of an Aztec style print in the style of the the way it's been sewn on here but these were in like a sale years ago and I was like yeah getting those they were like 60% off and I've actually worn them so much in fact all of these shoes are so battered I need to like clean them all up but it's because I wear them so much and then I just realised I missed a pair of prints and oh, these shoes I've had for years now and my, they're probably one of my most loved shoes and again it's a pair I won't ever get rid of. It's the Sophia Webster watermelon shoes. They're so fun. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is move these pinks back to here. If they fit, please fit. Yeah. And then I can put my watermelons in my printed section. Yay! Do you know what? I almost feel like I think I'm gonna get all my stilettos actually in here, so I'm really really pleased. This is like stiletto area now then. Okay, top drawer is gonna be black stilettos. Uh oh, okay, I missed I missed a pair of nudes, but actually they're probably my most like worn pair of nude shoes ever. The Dior slingbacks, which you'll also see in a sec I have in black as well. In fact, do I have two pairs? 
I just have these in nude and then some in black as well. Genuinely amazing shoes if you think about it guys. I could not recommend these heels more. They're just so beautiful. So what I'll do is put my black shoes next to them. So I bought the black ones with the studded Jadior in the sling back. No regrets, no regrets. Love those bits. I'll keep with the Dior theme. These are a pair of shoes I bought years ago. This like super thin heel. It almost has this like tulip shape the way it comes at the side. Bit higher in the way that they come up your ankle, but they just look so sexy and I couldn't really say no. So I love those. And another pair of Dior's are the two-tone court shoes. Really unique, really special. I've worn these only a few times, I must admit, I need to wear them a bit more. Um, and I also accidentally bought them in the wrong size because I'm usually 37 in Dior shoes and then suddenly I became a 36 and a half in Dior shoes and I didn't try these on properly, so my bad. But I just got some insoles and put them on the back and they were absolutely perfect, so it's all good. Jean Vito Rossi, again, I showed you these earlier in the red. These are in the black, like suede feel and they're just that really easy black court shoe that you can wear for like every occasion imaginable and then we have the jimmy choos like caged black heels i wore these the other day when i went around to lydia's for her new year's eve party and got lots of compliments on them so that's what they look like so they can be the last in this section yeah, I'm like, yeah, it kind of works, it kind of works, right, that's fine. Then, a pair of Stuart Weitzman's. They're just such an easy, like, over-toe sandal style, but they're so usable and wearable. I've worn these so much, so I think they're kind of like a must-have in anyone's shoe wardrobe. Jean Vito Rossi again in the black. This time, though, I got these, so they've got the black toe, nude back, and then white strap. So if you're wearing like black nudes and whites in your outfit, these are awesome. This works really, really well. And I might be incorrect here, but this looks to be like the last pair of stilettos. Woohoo! Okay, white VBs, which actually I've worn loads. So they can go in. It's like the white section. I wonder if I can get my Sophia's in here now, if it's going to be tall enough to fit. Do you know what? I think it might just fit in here. So my Sophia's can go at the back of here. I'm going to put my Prada's in here. When it comes to Prada, I don't own that much from Prada, actually. It's not one of my absolute favourite brands, but it's just like a really cool block heel nude toe. And I got loads, so much wear out of these in summer. So I reckon they should really go in here. They are something I'd reach for as like a heel. I'm going to put these in here too. I got these the other day as a gift. Studio Amelia. Woo! Studio Amelia from net porte the very Bottega style, the way that Bottega been doing their shoes recently, this kind of like thong toe vibe. So they can go in the nude section. As the last pair of shoes in here, I'm going to put these in here because again, I would reach for these as a pair of heels as opposed to a sandal. I was going to put them in sandals. Jean Vito Rossi's with this gorgeous like suede cross toe and then these track up your leg. They just look really, really sexy. And I love this kind of very neutral style yes okay oh wait oh no oh no no i lied to myself these don't fit you know what i think for now they're gonna have to do because i'm not gonna fit all my shoes in these drawers if i am precious about whether this closes fully or not it's gonna have to do cupboard number two and I think I'm going to start with mules. Kicking off with my favourite pair of mules, my Chanel's. Chanel mules in the leather and fabric toe. And I have two pairs of these because I wear them that much. Do you know what? On this one, I'm going to make sure that everything stays within the lines. <laughs> these are my other pair that got totally battered. And I do just need to get them sent off somewhere. I'm going to stick these in the back of here just so I know where they are, but they're not taking up too much excess space. My Bottega Veneta mules, kind of like the shoe of the season in this big, like big, chunky, quilted vibe. They are definitely not gonna fit nicely in this. 
maybe like that. Maybe that works. Balenciaga mules. Black with a little BB logo all over them in the short like kitten heel sling bags. I don't really wear kitten heels all that much, I must admit, but these are just adorable. A pair of velvet like indigo blue Malone Celiers with silver straps over top. This pair of mules, a pair of Maxine, they collaborated with and finally, I don't know if you follow and finally on Instagram. Um, such, such lovely ladies. And they created this collaboration range. I've not actually got to wear these yet, but my next trip away, I will be doing so. I might just quickly do wedges, because I only have two pairs of wedges. This is my castan castanier, is it? Castanier wedges, suede, tan, with the lovely, like, um, hessian. <laughs> hessian, what's it called? You know what I mean, this kind of fabric. Anyway, this is the style of the shoe. I cannot remember the style of that fabric. So they can go in there. And the only other pair I have is this pair from Aloha's. And this was like a collaboration range they did this year. The blue and yellow with this beige strap over toe. And again, I just need a summery holiday to wear these because I haven't had the chance yet. I really wish these were a little bit deeper. <laughs> My shoes, imagine if, if I was like a size 9 shoe, these just would not work at all. Luckily with being a size 4 they kind of fit, but not as much as I'd like, I must admit. But still amazing, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault my beautiful closet. Okay, I'm gonna move now into, because this is kind of almost a bit like mules, sandals, etc. More holiday vibes. I'm gonna carry on with that style. Twin set, I really love this, this heel on these. Really great tortle, tortle, tortoise shell heel. Got another pair of Jean Vito Rossi sandals in it's like pinky beige suede style. So good for when you're on holiday. Like these go, these go with everything. They still look really flattering on. And then another pair of Jean Vito Rossi's this time in a khaki style green. And they're just kind of like an over toe. And then you kind of put your foot through here like this and then tie these up around your ankle. I definitely have a bit of a Jean Vito Rossi issue, that's for sure. Continue with the sandal bag. Um, Aquazura, I remember, these just remind me of India because I took with these with me to India and they were just beautiful because it was so sunny. And a nice comfortable shoe as well, it doesn't actually rub me, which is a revelation. Valentino sandals, again, used so much, but a really, really comfortable pair because these are more of a block heel again and they've got all of the little gems over them so I found myself wearing those so much over the years and I still do which is why I still have them and then another pair of Aloha's and this time in a gorgeous coral shade and again it kind of wraps up wraps up the leg and then I think this might be my last pair of heeled yeah my last pair of heeled sandals another pair of Jean Vito Rossi and this is a very very flat pair I bought these to go with my swim outfit, my pool party outfit for the wedding, because it went with the whole theme, like all my other shoes were kind of like glitzy and a bit sparkly, so I went for these, kind of like a mirrored silver. Um, and then I think when I start on my espadrilles, kind of continuing with this sandaly vibe, the Chanel glitzy espadrilles. Granted, I haven't worn these as much as I definitely should have done. Another pair of Chanel espadrilles, these time again the kind of suede -y, no it's a velvet, in a velvet fabric with a Chanel across and then love them. I'm going to stick with Chanel and go for these little mule sandals which I bought this year and they're adorable. And just to finish off that gap, my Chanel flats in the slingbacks, one of my most favourite pair of shoes because they don't rub me and they go with so much and I always get compliments. I'm definitely going to buy in the future another pair of these in a different colour. Now here I have the same pair of Dior flats because I wore these so much that I bought a second pair. Um, I'm just trying to work out which one's older because I actually can't work it out now. I think these are older. So in that case I'm going to put these older ones back here just in case I need them for any reason. But the newer pair I'm going to put... Whee! newer pair I'm going to put up here. And I often with my small shoes I'll kind of stack them on top of each other because they don't really ruin them. Um, so next to them I'm going to put, I love these so much, they're a black, um, black pair of Dior's in the fabric and then they have this beautiful strap that goes again up the leg. And I've 
I've got so much wear out of these. If they do them again this season, I'll definitely be buying those again. Similar kind of holiday vibes, pair of Kurt Gangers in a yellow. And again, I just need a summer holiday and I can wear those because I haven't worn those out yet. And a really gorgeous pair of Emmy, Emmy London sandals. And they're just a really flat suede pair, but really comfortable. I genuinely like really am getting somewhere here and I'm quite surprised I'm able to fit so much in. I'm really thrilled. Okay, some more flats, my Nicholas Kirkwood, like ballerina. No, they're kind of like genie style. I know a lot of people call these like the genie shoes. These are almost like the rose gold. Couldn't recommend these more, by the way, if you're looking for a comfortable pair of shoes. And these are the more champagne gold style. Just a few more in this section. My Todd's, the like driving shoes. And one of my most pair, favorite pair of shoes. They are unbelievably comfortable. I also have them in the pink suede. Honestly, amazing for driving in. Another pair of Todd's. This like pink, very cute pointy toe style. And look at the back. Very, very comfortable. Sophia Webster flats. I've had these for years and I still adore them. I mean, look how pretty is that little, little heel. It's so cute. Oh, another pair of Todd's. These, oh, these remind me of, do you remember when, if you, well, in uni days, like college days, I would take a pair of like flat shoes that would, they were always like Primark or something like rubbish quality but they would fold up like this. These remind me of those, and it's another pair of Todd's. So they're great. Those there. Oh my gosh, I've actually managed it. My last pair of flats are these. And these are a pair of Emporio Armani, and I was given these when I filmed with Emporio Armani a few years ago for their perfume advert, and I wore these, and they let me keep them at the end of the set. The set, end of the filming. So that is all my flat shoes. The only issue is everything is so full, there's no room for any more flat shoes, but let's be honest, I don't need any more shoes right now. I can't believe I'm actually managing this, this is making me so happy. And that fits perfecto. Right, on to cupboard three. Okay, moving along to this next shelf. I'm just going to quickly put trainers down here because I don't have many trainers. But I've got a couple of pairs, the Versace trainers, like a big ropey chain to the sole in white. They're badass, they're a bit of a different choice, but genuinely love them. But they fit side by side better. God, okay. My Bottega Veneta trainers, which have been one of my most loved pairs of shoes recently, especially for like going away on trips and stuff. These have been awesome. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that works. One like that, one like that. Let's see. Next up, I think this is literally pretty much my only other pair of fashion trainers and they're my Chanel sneakers with the kind of silver and indigo bluey purple velvet tops. I mean, how beautiful are these? Stunning! Right, there you go, they're great. I'm going to have to start getting into my boot collection because otherwise I'm going to be overran with too many. So I'm going to start on the top shelf with these. Jean Vito Rossi turquoise tall ankle booty. Quite an old pair now, but one again I just won't get rid of because they're absolutely stunning. Um, will these fit in here? Nope, they don't fit. Um, these might, these are, yeah, Akazura black cutout style peep toe booties with a midi dress or even a maxi dress or a mini dress. <laughs> these just look gorgeous. They just, just fit. Dolce & Gabbana, I bought these again years ago and they are awesome, I mean, look at that heel on them. A couple of the gems have come off, but doesn't really bother me that much. Kurt Geiger, black suede ankle boots with this really cool pink block heel. I just found them really, really comfortable, which is why I've never got rid of them. And these, another pair of Kurt Geigers actually, but I've had so many people message me about if I'm selling these because they're so great. This green, really pointed toe, slick, Heel. These probably aren't gonna fit, are they? Oh no! Okay, maybe that's just four shoes. Oh. Again, super old. Woo! That heel nearly just went through my laptop screen. I don't know how that didn't just happen. <laughs> anyway, 
Versus Versace, I'm pretty sure that it's been kind of dissolved now, the brand Versus, but I really still love these. That, that heel is so cool. Ooh, oh my god, these are an amazing pair of heels, the Malone Soulier boots. Again, they're kind of like more booty style with a so kind of sexy, it's amazing heel and they look so fabulous on. I remember Patricia's got these in like the nude beige colour and I really wish I got those as well. <laughs> I love these shoes. Louboutin sock boots and they've got this really badass studding to the back of the heels. They're a bit of a weapon and then they're also across the toe if you can see that as well. So cool. Love these to bits. Maybe we can fit just one more pair in here. Now this pair of boots I'm a bit upset with. They were a pair of Pradas I bought years ago. They're so like classic, easy black ankle boot. But I had a few issues with these. I had to send them back to Italy twice to get re-heeled and sorted out. So they're kind of fragile and it's kind of put me off buying a lot more Prada since, but still gorgeous and they still have a purpose. I'm gonna put these in here as well. A pair of Reese boots in this really pretty cranberry shade. These will just, just fit at the back of here. Tiny secret shelf right at the back of there. Um, do we have a space? Oh yeah, we have space down here. A lot of these are so tall they will not go in. I'm really gutted. Surely I've got some more short boots. No. No. Yay! Oh, these look such a mess. <laughs> Love these Cassidy boots with this big block kind of like gold heel on them super pointy. I've just been wearing these like out and about in the countryside in the muddy field so they look like this but oh, I love these. These will fit my Balenciaga black patent boots with the BB and they are so pointy the proper like, like Catwoman style boots. These fit great. Oh these will fit. Jimmy Choo's. Velvet style sock boot vibe, black, Jimmy Choo boots. Yeah. Okay, well just, just about fit. They're, they're fabric, so they'll, they'll go in. <laughs> they'll go in, I think. A pair of creamy white ballet boots with this really cool gold accent heel. They're an almond toe and yes, need a clean, but they're a bit different. And again, with like the right pair of trousers look really quite lovely. We're whittling down this collection slowly but surely. I'm going to try and get these in because they're fabric so they can bend. Malone Soulier sock boots, navy blue, zigzag pattern to the cuff, very tall heel, really quite stunning. I'm starting to want food now. So it's, been, <laughs> so it's been a while guys, I hope you're still enjoying this at this point. If you're still watching at this point, leave me a little shoe emoji in the, in the comments so I know you're still here with me. And do you know what, I'm going to put these in too. I've got two pairs of these. Aquazura boots. Again, super beautiful, thin heel on these. Um, and I bought two pairs because I just find them so kind of sexy and attractive on. So let's put these in here and just kind of bend them in a bit. Potential, oh no, but I don't want to ruin, I don't want to ruin the tops. No, forget that. They can go in later. Now, because I'm struggling with all the rest of my boots, I'm gonna go now to like flats. A few more flats that I didn't put in before. A pair of Converse that I've had for like 15 years, I'm sure, with like purple laces. I used to go to like every single band gig ever in these. And I've also got a pair of low top Converse in cream, which again is so easy to wear put those like side by side they fit nice everything else is just going to be sandals like like flip-flops jimmy choo flip-flops take those on every single trip i've also got this pair what are they from s l d slides slides with a y pretty sure i got these on a recent laura mercier trip actually so i've kept those as like a secondary pair a flippy flappies. Another pair I love, Valentino. And these have a really cool, almost a bit of a, a short wedge kind of style roping finish. A pair of emu, 
Australia sandals. And then my first Valentino sandals that I got. Really, really flat. But again, look at the state of them because they've been worn so much. So recommend these if you go on a holiday and you need something that's like fashionable but still like really, really gorgeous. And then I've just got two pair of actual proper flip flops. First being from Gandhi's. And again, I've had these, had these for ages, like black glittery, black glittery hair. And then I've got a pair of have. Havianas, 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 in white and baby blue, which I wore, again, I wore these for my pool party for the wedding, so it's a perfect colour, white with blue, that's all my flats. The only other pair that I'm not putting in here are my Dior, my new Dior sneakers with the monogramming, just because I'm wearing them so much at the moment, they are downstairs in the hallway, so there's no point in putting them up here. However, we do still have some room in here, don't we? Maybe I should just leave that room because... I am going to need it at some point. So let's come back to that empty space later. Otherwise, done. And now we come to the final cupboard space, which is supposed to be for all my tall boots, over knee boots, etc. And this is going to be for my ankle boots, which there are a hell of a lot of. So I don't know if this is even going to work, but we are going to try it together, aren't we? First up, Malone Soulier white, one style heel. The issue with these is I've marked them like terribly. So again, I'm gonna have to try and get these fixed now. The one thing about these kind of boots, they do not stand up ever. Continuing with Malone Souliers, these are just, oh, they're beautiful. Gorgeous, like suede pink. And on the inside, it's all this like fluffy, shearling so they're absolutely beaut or maybe maybe i could do a front and back row next up i've got a lot of the stuart waxman this one being in the deep charcoal gray i think these are called like the highland highland boots i also have the flat pair in the cranberry granted i haven't worn these anywhere near as much as i should have done but they're here if I do need them, I suppose. I need, a pair. I need something to go inside those. They're just like flopping about in there. Another pair of the Street Wise and Highland boots, this time in like the beautiful beigey tone. I definitely recommend these ones if you are going to go for the Street Weitzman. And they're just so, oh, they're just really attractive around your legs as well. They fit really nicely and then you can tighten them up. And I've got the Highland boots in black too. Two more pairs of over knee. These are the actual dream. The Jean Vito Rossi black over knees, like thigh high style. Can you kind of see? I'll put it like this. Tall, stunning, a bit wider around the thighs. So you can really get them on nicely. And then it's got a zip as well to get you your calf in there. I absolutely adore those boots. They are just unbelievable. Perfect. And last pair, Cassidy. I think these are called Blade. Because I mean look at that heel unreal I, i've worn <laughs> i've worn these quite a few times because they look so badass but i can only wear them for a couple of hours before my the front of my foot isn't like yeah about to die now let's go a bit shorter i've got my diors black diors you might remember i bought these in vista village recently and they're like half price which is unreal so jean vito rossi suede charcoal gray worn these so much amazing with like midi dresses stand up once again jean vito rossi but in this beautiful pink beigey leather and you might not think not very wearable but actually again with like midi dresses and short skirts and like whites and beiges these are amazing and such a beautiful statement boot one of my most worn pair of shoes of the season unexpectedly pair of Ted Baker's, like really slouchy, um, knee-high boots. They're so comfortable. So that's why I've worn them so much. I took those to Chicago with me, I just love them. This is quite a new pair from Pinko. White, slouchy style, calf-length boots. Okay, we're getting somewhere here, guys. This is fabulous. Anything that high here, kind of. Um, a pair of Sorel's. These are so amazing for winter and ski trips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these around at the back, I think. These are a pair of Sorel's and Chloe. They did like a collaboration range. 
and created these beautiful things. God, I've got more surreal than I realised. These are more of a, these are more of a kind of, more walking style boot, I suppose. It's not as fat and chunky as those more like Arctic boots. And so, it's a little bit different in my collection. Brand new surreals that I got the other day in my My Teresa haul. I took them with me for skiing and never actually managed to wear them. So, I'm excited to wear them in the next few months. I think we are going skiing again for Alex's birthday. So, I'll be taking these. And my final, like, taller, wintry style boots are my Fendi's, which are what I did wear constantly on my ski trip. Yay! Oh, no, actually, these, can, these need to go in, too. A pair of Jimmy Choo's. Now, these heat up. They have, you can like plug these in and they'll heat up. They're just a big kind of thicker sole, snowy boot. Let's go top shelf and get this done, shall we? I'm gonna start with my tallest boots. These are my Balenciaga villain boots. I absolutely adore these bad boys. Maybe these need to go at the front. Yeah, okay, shorter ones then behind them. Um, silver, again, I'm not worn these in ages, but I'm keeping them just in case I need a silver pair of boots or silver comes back in fashion again. You just never know. White cowboy style boots. These are from Aldo. I got a hell of a lot of wear out of these. Oh, God, I love these. Bear in mind, bear in mind with all these shoes, they've been inside a bathtub for a long time. So I'm kind of rediscovering all of my amazing pairs of shoes, including, oh, these are amazing. D squared, cowboy vibe, very western vibe, big tall ankle boot heel in this like deep burgundy, oh, so stunning. Next pair, a pair of Carvella white pointed heel boots, again like last year white was massive again, so I got a couple of pairs of white boots, Just super easy and they're a bit of a dupe for the Alexander Wangs, I'm going to put these in next. I was wearing these earlier and then ended up taking them off because I noticed they were getting dust on them from the floor, which I am yet to finish off. <laughs> uh, but my Dior boots, very similar to the black ones down here, but these are the ankle style and they are just so versatile. Yeah, these are a pair of page boots, black, again, this western style cowboy vibe. What's it called? Spurs, is it? I don't know. We kind of had that chain going around them. Great pair of black boots. I'm now going to put these bad boys in. These are brand new, not worn these yet. My Jimmy Choo's. How sexy are those? Faux croc vibe print. Chanel black glittery thread boots. Probably my favourite pair of shoes ever. My Dior's. These were from the very last Raph Simmons collection for Dior. And my most prized possession, most probably. Still a lot of boots here though. <laughs> Oh god, there's a lot of boots. Um, these are a pair from River Island. I know most of my collection is designer, but these were such an amazing pair of River Island boots. So super pointy, and I've had so many compliments on them, it's insane. Insane how many people wanted to buy these. And then they, they ran out pretty quick. And in front of them, I'm going to put my Vetamon boots with the amazing reflector style heel. These are so cool. Coach cowboy vibe flat boots. These kind of heeled vibes, they just don't fit in this collection. These were a pair of Balmain H&M heels that I managed to get when they came out. Instead, I'm going to put them in my spare space next door with the other shoes that look like these. Aqua Zero boots, like I said, I've got two pairs of black and I have one pair of animal print. So these can all go in together. This pair of Ted Baker, I've got so much wear out of and they just look so great with anything. Mainly jeans and kind of shorts, mini skirts. This pair of Dior boots are probably my most battered. That toe is just unbelievable but I can't get rid of them because they're a boot that I just have adored and I wish I'd bought another pair and you never know, I might get them fixed one day. <laughs> One day, I wish someone would just come in and help me just do all my shoes. And my pair of YSLs, look at this heel. Pink metallic heel, an amazing shape. These really need some more stuffing in that toe. These are, these are quite a new one actually. Black ankle boots, 
cone heel in a suede. And these were a pair of Trussardi, yeah, Trussardi boots that I wore to death, tortoise shell heel and a burgundy suede. The dream. And there are just a few spaces left for my Dior boots with the blue glass perspex heel. Final spot, black. If you see my Dior collection, you've seen these in detail, but black with the studded Dior pattern heel. Oops. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Firstly, if you've got this far, then thank you so much for watching with the tie way. Um, I know I said earlier to comment an emoji, but this time comment a black heart emoji if you got it this far and thank you for watching that long. Like I said, this is an enormous collection which is very much unnecessary. You don't need this many pairs of shoes. It's just been part of my career is that I get sent a lot of shoes, I buy a lot of shoes. It's just that kind of blogger lifestyle. I'll be honest, going forward 2020 onwards, it's not a lifestyle that I longer I want to keep anymore. Obviously I'm not just gonna get rid of shoes but my intake of shoes and bags and accessories and everything clothing wise is going to be so much more so much more thought out and um it's more of a conscious decision a lot more that's for sure i definitely just don't need this many of anything um but i'm so glad it all fits <laughs> so pleased and it looks great so i am thrilled i'll try and leave links to as many of the shoes i can down below if i can't it's because they're no longer being sold but hopefully it's somewhat, you know, if you've seen a pair that you love, let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do if I can find another link. But I thought rather than me just putting these away without you seeing, you guys might want to see my entire, entire collection. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry that I didn't try them all on. It just, can you imagine how long that would have taken me? And this was already a very, very long video. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, I can't wait to get into filming my full videos again. As soon as this whole room is done, the floor's done, the painting's done, like these lemon walls are going, it'll be nice and white and bright. And it'll be now nicely decorated in here. So I can't wait to kind of bring you that again for 2020. I hope you all had an amazing new year, guys. And I will see you very soon. Bye.